everybody, it's Mimi. Um, I will let you know right away that I have some very needy kitties today. Um, they're not feeling real well. And one of them keeps trying to chew on the cord that I have here on the phone. One of them keeps sitting behind me in my chair as I sit down. And another one keeps crawling up on my shoulder. So, you will see. <clears throat> and this one here, <laughs> she's not feeling well. She's lost a couple of pounds. Well, she probably isn't more than a couple pounds, but she's lost a little weight. So we've got to get her taken into the vet. She'll probably go in tomorrow or Monday. But she's a super sweetie, but she just wants a whole lot of attention right now. So I'm going to put her up on my shoulder, and maybe she'll stay there, maybe not. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to do a real quick video. <clears throat> so you remember these tumbling blocks I did on my um, Dollar Tree haul? Well... My granddaughter decided that she wanted a jewelry box because she got this sweet little necklace for Christmas. And um, I also have a friend who does um, paparazzi, paparazzi, however you pronounce it. And her name is Kristen Costa Durham. And if you guys need a paparazzi person, let me, I'll, I'll send you over there to Kristen because she's just one of my sweetest longtime friends. And, um, I know she would love to talk to you guys. Anyway, so my granddaughter wanted a jewelry box and we were looking in the store and just, you know, doing all kinds of fun stuff, you know, but I kept seeing, you know, like the cheapest one that wasn't, you know, horribly, um, gaudy looking was like 30 bucks, you guys, $30. And I thought to myself, you know what, there's gotta be something else. And then I came across this cute little wooden jewelry box and it hit me I have these little tumbling blocks at home and I'll bet you I could do it and guess what you guys I started putting it together <clears throat> now I, I put a lot of it together already because I wanted to save time but what I did was I grabbed these blocks and I picked you know the best sides some of them have little scratches on them so I used the other side for the outside and, um, and then like the bottom piece, this would be on the bottom instead of, you know, showing. And I, I just thought it would be fun to do every other one, you know, for the colors. So I, that's how I put them together. Um, and some of them I did one way, some of them I did another way. So anyway, um, <clears throat> now because I wanted to try and keep this like mostly Dollar Tree stuff, um, you can find Eileen's Tacky Glue at the Dollar Tree. Um, Personally, I prefer, when I'm working with wood, I prefer wood glue. Uh, but, um, as well as with this tacky, this tacky glue dries much faster than the wood glue. But for general purposes, we're going to go with the Eileen's tacky glue. So we're just assuming that you can, you're going to go to the Dollar Tree and spend a dollar for your tacky glue. And it took one and a half of these um, uh, tumbling tower games to do what I wanted to do. Okay, so first thing I did was I made the bottom. And like I said, I wanted it, you know, every other color. And so I glued the I glued the five and the five together. And I picked which side I wanted as the, uh, that you could see as you went in. So this is the side that you're gonna see and this is the bottom. And you can see it's got a bunch of nicks and cracks and even some discoloration on here. So I just put that together. Then, I wanted to do the sides opposite. And so I did the sides like this and like this. And I thought, you know, on opposite ends, I'll do this first. Actually, I think this is the one I had up. Yeah. And this is little Blizzard. He is also, I don't know, I, I don't know if they got a cold, they're passing it around to each other or what, but it, it has been pretty chilly around here. So I got, I've, I've got these two that I've already got put together. And then I have some sides that I wanted to put. They're opposite of these. So we're going to go every other one here. Whoops, that little thing just wants to keep falling over. Now this is not exact measurement. There is a little bit of overhang, you guys. And I have to tell you, I am totally okay with that because... Um, 
the lid is going to fit on here quite nicely. Um, also, oh my gosh, you guys, I forgot to turn on my um, hot glue gun because I wanted to show you a trick of what I'm going to do. So while I'm gluing everything, I'm going to put that together. Oh, and you remember the, um, the uh, shower curtain rings I had? I wanted this to stay like this so, <laughs> so I wouldn't have to keep going, pss, 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 you know? You know how it makes that funny sound when it's, you know, it feels like it's empty? Anyway, so I just stuck it in there for fun, and I was like, wow, cool. <laughs> so let me plug in this glue gun real quick so that I don't um, have to worry about that. And then I'll start gluing everything with you guys um, on, on all the other stuff. I just, you guys, this is going to end up being so stinking cute. Um, and now my husband has a lot of those really cool tools. Um, Daddy gave him all of his tools um, I guess it was last July and, um, you guys, it, he had so many nice tools, but my husband did not have enough room in his little shed. Well, I mean, it's not little, but, um, it was too little for all the stuff that daddy gave us. So I bought him a shed for Christmas. So he got this beautiful shed and it is it's brand new and um, it has a place for a window that uh, we didn't get the one that has a window but we got we, we have an area where we're gonna put a window so you know he has a little breathing air you know he can open the window and get a cool breeze in or you know whatever but um so that's what he got for Christmas and um I'm <laughs> I was just really excited because it's it's a nice one you know Anyway, so all of Daddy's tools are, I guess now riches, <laughs> are going to go into the new one because it's much bigger than the other shed. And then uh, we'll kind of see if we, if we still need the old shed or whatever, but we're definitely going to clean it out and rearrange everything out of there and probably throw a lot of stuff away. So uh, let's get back to this. Um, now I want to show you what I did with the top. The top, I just did... Um, six and six opposites obviously and then I just put two single pieces on the top I found two pieces that I thought had pretty wood work in them or woodwork wood, wood grain in it and I just stacked them on top of each other I don't know you can you can probably see that quite well okay so and and then I just glued it down with the Eileen's and these are I mean you guys can see this is pretty dang sturdy so I did use Eileen's because I wanted you guys to be able to see that, um, you know, you could use it and it's not going to do any damage, especially for a young child. Like my granddaughter's only seven. So, um, I've spent a total of like two and a half dollars on this project. <laughs> so, um, also what I wanted to show you guys, um, now you're probably wondering how am I going to keep this on here without any kind of, you know, something to catch, right? Well, that's why I want the hot glue. So what I did is I put these around here like this. Goodness. And then I drew a line with a pencil. I took my pencil. And um, of course you're going to want to do it before you put these on. But you stick your little, your little piece right here. And you just kind of draw a line. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put little, uh, uh, just a real small line of hot glue right across the inside of all these lines. I did all four sides. The dark brown's kind of hard to see, but you know I get the gist of it. As long as I get on the inside of that, and then when she goes to pick it up or whatever, it won't it won't just slide off. Or if like one of the cats is trying to mess with it or whatever, it won't just slide off. She'll be able to have a, a decent grip on it. So. We're going to be doing that as well. So let's get Eileen's out. And then I'll show you how I glued these. Because I also want to show you actually how I did it. Because, um, let's see, make sure I got the inside versus the outside. Now what I did is I took the glue. And I, I just kind of did it across like this. I didn't use a whole lot. But then I took the end here, and so it would be nice and co cover the whole, the whole edge of the the um, block, okay. And that way, 
I can stick this right here like this, hold it for just a few seconds, and it's pretty much going to tack just like that. Now this isn't going to be a big, let's see, let's hope this tacks on as easy as the other stuff did. Oh, I just set it down. Okay. Actually, you know what I'm going to do before I let that dry? I'm going to do all four sides here. That way. See, I'm learning as you guys are watching because I didn't even think about how I was going to do this part. I just figured I'd glue it and go, you know? <laughs> and it looks like I'm going to have to actually do all four sides so that I can glue everything. Kind of, kind of like all at the same time, I guess, but... I'm definitely going to need more on this side. But I did it real thin because that way it it tack, it's called tacky glue for a reason. It gets tacky and that's what you want. You want the tackiness so it'll dry faster. Okay. I'm hoping this comes together, together better than um, it's kind of looking like it. <laughs> Okay, I think this is going to be fine. Add a little more glue here just to kind of retack it. Okay, so now I'm going to put all of these pieces. See, you guys, you see this? This is why my table looks like it does because I constantly do glue stuff. I put glue stuff all over the place. All right, this one's gonna be on the inside. This one's gonna be on the outside. This one's gonna be on, oh, you know what? I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on each of these ends here too. All right, let's turn this around this off a little bit so I can tack each of these ends here as well. Put this back on and then hold it. You know, just hold it nice and steady for a little bit. Get it as straight as you can. Um, like I said, there's going to be a little bit, see like right here is a little bit of overhang on this side and that's okay. You know, like I said, when it, if it's for a small kid, don't worry about it, honestly. I mean, unless you're a perfectionist, which I know myself, I will probably go change it. I'll probably go and slice that little bit off or figure out some way to add something to it. In the meantime, um, with all those new tools, those new, I call them fandangled tools, <laughs> um, eat. I don't know if I will talk my husband into doing it. He's been working really long hours, so that's probably not going to be an option. But I will absolutely ask him what type of um, tool I should use to just kind of give this a little bit of a better sanding. And um, we'll see. I may not need no more sanding. I don't know. We'll see. Now, what would be really great is if I had... Um, Oh gosh, what are those things called? Those like C clips or whatever they are to hold these down. I don't know, guys. I don't know what they I can't remember what they're called. Oh, shoot. That was so nice and snug there, and I just totally bent it up. Arr. See y'all. That's what happens. Alright, let me see if this hot glue gun is ready yet. Grabbing myself another little stick or two. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, it's good. Okay, so now the other thing that I wanted to show you guys, I um, 
I ordered these a long time ago on Amazon and I don't remember where, but they're the Scrabble tiles, okay? Now, <clears throat> I made a project out of these for Christmas, so I used almost all of the letters in her name, but I did find one S, but it was too big. Her name was too long to go on this. So instead, when I talked to her about it, we decided to do, <laughs> silly kitty, we decided to do love on the inside so that every time she opened it, she would know she was loved. And we just decided to kind of go right next to each other instead of, um, you know, do them any other way. But <clears throat> I am going to tack these on real quick. And I think actually I'm just going to use um, my hot glue. Whoops. So I'm not going to make a, a huge mess out of this, I hope. Hey you, you little titty butt. He's my baby. This is Blizzard. He is a pain in my patukas, but I'll tell you what, he sure is a little cute pain in the patukas. When he was brand spanking new, he was attacked by a dog. So he was brought here and you can't really see it much anymore. It's covered in pretty well, but on his fur, I don't know if you can see where it's darker right here than it is around the rest of the part of him on both sides. That was where he was actually bit. <laughs> but he's doing really well. I mean, he's really small for his age. But the vet said, you know, with certain, you know, traumas, it's not uncommon for animals to grow slower than they normally would. Oh goodness, I just dumped out my other blue stick. <laughs> oh, you guys. Okay. Alrighty. So here's this. Oops. Almost missed the calling on that one. Okay. So now she's, she sees that she's my little love. And then my next item is to put the glue right along the inside here. And I am just doing a real little line. I gotta make sure I get it all the way to where I wanna go here. All the way to the inside. Of the lines. I had to do a double check here because this line is on the dark side here. It's kind of hard to see. Okay. Now this will dry out or dry up and it will become like a rubberized type of Um, well, you know, stopper. I don't know what else to call it. <laughs> so let me put my eyelids back in my sh shower curtain <laughs> rings. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Okay, you guys, so a box and a half of these Tumbling Tower Game blocks. Um, and, and, you know, you guys can make it as big as you want or as small as you want. You don't even have to make it this size. You can make it really small, just like a little trinket box. Um, you can make it really big. And as you can see, I only use four letters. If you want to use more, you can put them on the front, the sides, on the top, whatever you want to do. And um, they were really inexpensive. I want to say they were like $3 for the bag, uh, maybe even less. Um, I, what I do know is I don't pay a whole lot for anything. So <laughs> I try to find the best deals, like the buy one, get one free or stuff like that. Anything like that. I try to do the cheapest I possibly can. 
So I'm going to blow on this a little bit because <clears throat> it's not drying fast enough for me. I want to be able to go ahead and just end this video for you guys because I've got so many more to do. I was doing my videos on my camera today and I have to redo all of them because my computer decided to break down um, midway through everything. So I've got to go get my computer fixed and I can't load my videos from my camera onto my phone. It has to go to my computer and from computer to YouTube. So yeah, so we're going to have to redo all those and I apologize. I'm kind of late on some of these um, because I really want to go into the celebration catalog and the new mini catalog that you can order from starting today. <clears throat> The other thing is I did an unboxing of my December paper pumpkin, which you can only see on my Facebook page, but I want to do it on YouTube as well. So, um, but if you want to see those things, um, I did a Facebook live with them because of the whole camera issue. Um, you can go to Stampin' with a Grandma Giggles on Facebook and you can see them there, but I'm going to try and get them done here on YouTube. It, but you know how it takes forever to do the, the videos and stuff. All right. I think this is pretty much dry. Okay. So now put this on top here. And as you can see now, it won't, it won't go very far. I mean, it moves a little bit. And so you could do it as close as you want to that edge or, you know, like this. I didn't want to do it all the way. So it has a little bit of give to it. Um, I may cover this in uh, Mod Podge to give it a shine, uh, the, the glossy Mod Podge to give it a shine, but you guys, that's, that's your little jewelry for a little little one or even for you know a significant other. I mean, you know, boys like them too. I've got one piece here that's not wanting to stay up. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it like this overnight with the lid on it to keep it from going anywhere else. But... I just thought this was super cute for two and a half dollars, right? So, I mean, we could say three dollars if you want, but really it's, it's, it, there's no way it's three dollars because I only used a box and a half of these and just used four letters out of a uh, three dollar bag of something like 200 letters or something like that. So, anyway, you guys, I hope you have a fabulous day and I will talk with you later. Bye.